Hello everybody, today I'm going to be going over IMO shortlist problem G3 from the year 2006. The problem states that ABCDE is a convex pentagon such that BAC is equal to CAD is equal to DAE and ABC is equal to ACD is equal to ADE. Those are the angles that I've marked. Now it says that the diagonals BD and CE, which I'll draw in now, BD and CE, they meet at a point that is P. And we would like to show that the ray AP goes or passes through the midpoint of CD. And I know my drawing doesn't really make it look like that, but that is what we need to prove. So, first off, a good thing to note is that the angle conditions give that each triangle ABC, ACD, and ADE, all three triangles are similar to each other. And so we can create a system of ratios using the lengths of these similar triangles. So AC over AB equals AD over AC because AD and AC are both adjacent to congruent angles and opposite from congruent angles so they correspond so they're both numerators similarly AB and AC correspond into the triangles and they, both of these ratios are also equal to AE over AD Now, what I like to show is that triangles ACE and ABD are similar. So we want to show that ACE is similar to triangle ABD. Um, first off, we can note that both of them have an angle that is equal to twice of the angle ABC. So they have one, they share one corresponding angle. So it's a fair assumption that they're similar. We can prove it because the ratio AE over AC, which is the ratio of these two sides in ACE, that is equal to, well, using these ratios, we see that AE, we have 1 over AC, A, AE equals AD, I'm looking at these two fractions, AD times AC over AB. And so these ACs cancel out and you get AD over AB. And this is in fact what we want because AD and AB correspond to AE and AC. So this means that ACE and ABD are in fact similar triangles. Now what we can show from this is that um, the angle AEC is congruent to the angle ADB just by similar triangles and we already know that the angle ADC is congruent to the angle AED so that means that this smaller angle CED is congruent to the angle BDC because both of them add up to AED 
and they add up to AED with ADB. So they have to be equal. Now we have that. Um, okay, so first I want to mark the intersection of BD and AC. I'm going to call that Q. And I'm going to mark the intersection of AD and CE. I'm going to mark that as R. Now, we have that ACD is equal to QCD because uh, Q is on AC. And so QCD, similarly RDE is equal to ADE. So QCD equals RDE and QDC equals RED. So we have that triangles QCD and triangle RD, RDE. These are similar triangles. Now what we can say from this is that um, is that on, I'm going to move down here so I have room to write. What we can say is that QC divided by RD, because these are corresponding lengths in the similar triangles that we've created here, QC over RD is equal to QD over RE because those are also both corresponding lengths. Now triangles we have that AEC is equal to AER and ADB is equal to ADQ and we already know that these are equal and we know that obviously QAD is congruent to RAE so we know that triangles ARE and triangle AQD are similar and so what we can say from this is that QD over RE, which are corresponding lengths in these triangles, equal to AQ over AR, which are also corresponding lengths. But we have that QD over RE is equal to both of these fractions, or ratios. So therefore, these ratios must also, must also be equal. In other words, QC over RD is equal to AQ over AR. Now, for the final step, look at triangle ACD. The lines CR, DQ, and the ray AP are sevians of the triangle, meaning they all concur at the point P. So, by Chavis' theorem, which I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I'll spell it. I, I think it's Cheva's theorem, which states that when you have these lines that concur at a single point, um, there is a fact about the ratios 
of lengths in the triangle. So I need to mark this point where where A B or where A P intersects C D, that is M. And so by Chevis theorem, we know that C M uh, divided by dm times is basically just like this to this times this to this times this to this. So you have to go in the same order clockwise. So basically times rd over ar Oh gosh. Times uh, AQ over QC. The product of these three ratios that the CVNs cut the triangles le length into, these ratios multiply to 1. Now what's interesting about this is that this product right here we can rearrange and we see that we have AQ over AR right here. But AQ over AR is equal to QC over RD. But we also are multiplying by RD over QC. So obviously if we multiply by RD over QC, then these just cancel out. So these just cancel out. So in all we have that CM divided by DM equals 1. Well this is exactly what we want because that means that M is the midpoint of CD. And that is the end of the proof. Now really, I think this is a pretty easy problem. Again, it's an IMO shortlist problem. So from 2006, I'll leave a link in the description for all the shortlisted problems from that year. I think it's a fairly easy problem. I'm not that great at Olympiad math, or geometry for that matter, but um, I was able to solve this. And it's, it's just similar triangles. And as soon as I saw like at first I thought the angle condition was very wacky, but as soon as I drew it out, I was like, well, all of these are similar, and so there's probably more similar triangles all around. So yeah, that's how you solve it. So hopefully I'll solve more hard math problems and create videos for them, and I'll see you next time.